Here at the newly opened Tiratana Panchala Community Centre, Master Clinical Hypnotherapist Rhea Thomas is giving her group session a short but effective demonstration of just how powerful the mind can be. The instruction is that you get into groups of five. Have you got into groups of five? Pick the biggest person in your group, strongest, largest person in the group, sit down in your one chair. <laughs> what I want the rest of you to do is, and stick two fingers out, have you done this in school? The Superman and the mouse, okay. Um, when I ask you, two people will get under the person's armpit, right? And the other two will get under their knee. So are you all in position? Yes. Don't forget anyone. Bending over, please hold your bellies in. Okay, we don't want any busted backs. However, all you're going to do now is try. Try, stick your hands in, and try and lift the person up. Come on, come on, try harder, try. Try harder. All right, okay, stand up. Now you know how you're supposed to lift them. Now close your eyes. Okay? Stand arms akimbo as Superman and Supergirl would do. Okay? And taking a big deep breath, feel the power within you. Feel, get growing stronger and stronger. By the moment getting stronger, feel your arms, feel your back, feel your shoulders, feel the, the power in the muscles in your neck and arms and legs and stomach. Just feel yourself building. Feel yourself so powerful, you're able to lift a car with one hand. And with that knowledge, go for it now. Open your eyes and pick up your partner. Now, lift, lift, higher, lift, go on, go on, lift. In town to conduct a two-part introduction to hypnosis and relaxation session at the invitation of community centre patron, Datin Catherine Lai, Thomas is keen to share a knowledge of just how hypnosis can help ease stress, the silent killer. Feeling much refreshed after the session, Switch Up caught up with some of Thomas's students to talk about hypnosis and how it can be a useful method to manage stress better. The purpose today was to show us how we can relax and I think it achieved its purpose. In yoga, you know, you know, the instructors first tell you to relax your eyes, relax your legs, it's similar. So eventually, you, what we do is you learn auto-suggestion. For example, I can do Shavasana at home myself, it's not a problem. And then, like I say, there's a distortion of time. You're out for 20 minutes, but you think you're out for two hours. So, you know, it's good. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I think I can do this if it's if it's if it helps you in the long run, mm -hmm. if it helps you relax and helps you with other areas of your life, why not? You okay. know? Everything is up here. It's what you believe in. And that she was right when she first started the class, saying that everything is in your mind. If you believe in something you can do it. I think we tell ourselves this all the time. I go for a lot of motivational mm -hmm. talks. I've been doing it when I was in insurance for the last twenty years. Right. And yes, believing it, but sometimes you need to tell yourself and I think this helps you reaffirm that. I, I think, yeah, for stress, I think it would be a, a really good um, thing to try because um, I think stress is, is a good, it's, it's, a, it's a huge problem, especially when you live in the city um, with jobs, family, mm -hmm. traffic, mm -hmm. you know. So to be able to easily go into a distressing mode, um, I think would help. For Thomas, the session was certainly a nice way to pass on to a new group of hypnosis first-timers some useful techniques to enjoy some much-needed blissful relaxation. Knowing most people's perception of hypnosis as some form of mind control, Thomas is keen to promote the process for his healing and stress-relieving capabilities. Oh, like, like everybody, I was skeptical. Okay, I, it's a natural thing, you, you know, it's ignorance, basically. People suffering from anxiety stems from stress. People who've got illnesses like diabetes and blood, high blood pressure and, you know, a low immune system, all of those things are proven to have stopped, begun with stress. Not always, but certainly stress is a large contributor. And um, hopefully, by learning how to de-stress, 
even if it's just moments in your day, you've taken the few moments to not be stressed. It gives me a lot of pleasure to see it work and help someone live a freer life and that's, that's all I'm in this for. Talk about mind over matter. This is Zach Yusuf for The Star Online. Do you think hypnosis and things like yoga is to combat Oh, stress? definitely, definitely. Because I think any time you can rest our very busy mind <laughs> and uh, remove external stimulation, I think it's, of course it's very, extremely good for your brains, okay. which means indirectly good for your body. And then my last question is, you know, uh, have any message to people out there who maybe haven't tried this before and are wow. a bit skeptical? Well, if you haven't tried it, Hold back your fears and doubts and jump. <laughs> it's great for you. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic.